Welcome to Fantasy Football by Committee. The show starts in three, two, one. Um, but we'll just start with the most trending player over on Sleeper Fantasy. And again, if you have questions, drop them in chat, and we will pause and answer along the way. But the most trending player over on Sleeper Fantasy, the most picked up player over the past 24 hours is Noah Brown of the Houston Texans. Uh, last week, we had a video on his channel saying there's one reason to pick up Noah Brown. There's one reason, and that is you are betting that Robert Woods misses another week because you need one of the receivers for Houston to miss in order for Noah Brown to continue his hot streak. Unfortunately, Robert Woods came back. However, Nico Collins missed. That meant Noah Brown still got to play, I believe, around 75% of the snaps. He went off. 172 yards on seven catches, back-to-back weeks of over 150 receiving yards. Uh, Still owned in only 36% of sleeper fantasy leagues, which means I assume fewer than that over on Yahoo and ESPN. They're usually late to the party over there. Sharper players are pretty much always playing on sleeper. But yeah, so Noah Brown, like, he's not a young guy, right? He's not old by any means. What is he? 27 like we kind of know what he is but he's certainly younger than Robert Woods I say that to say once everybody is healthy like we're not going to get this however I feel like he's done enough to warrant having a larger role than he had prior right I mean I mean he wasn't playing so he should have a decent role now but I mean Nico Collins is still the wide receiver one Tank Dell is still operating in his role. Like, no one's going to move him from that role. And then it feels like Robert Woods and Noah Brown would split. Uh, You're not going to completely rule Robert Woods out. That makes no sense. And you're not, I don't think you would completely rule Noah Brown out, uh, given what he has done. So, uh, going forward, once everyone's healthy, it kind of feels like Noah Brown and Robert Woods are both going to be, you know, inconsistent at best. Unfortunately, I mean, again, I'm going to say the same thing this week. As I said last week, you're picking up Noah Brown with the hope with the, uh, you know, you're betting on one of the Houston receivers to miss. Maybe Nico Collins misses another game. I think it was just a calf injury. So I don't think that's going to be the case. Maybe Robert Woods tweaks something in practice. Who knows? Who knows? But if one of those Houston receivers misses, not Tank Dell, I don't think his role would really go up with Tank Dell out, but If Collins or Woods miss a game, it certainly seems like Noah Brown's a must start. But if both of those two guys are healthy, you know, I'm going to put Noah Brown in that wide receiver four territory at the current moment. Um, I'm still, he's done enough though to pick up and uh, wait and see. See what the positions, what the roles, what everything, the snap counts shake out to once everyone's healthy. I think that makes sense with Noah Brown. I think he's earned that. He's been good enough for three straight weeks in that expanded role. But again, he's the most picked up player. And would I be blowing my fab on him? No. Would I be using my priority waiver claim on him? No, I wouldn't be doing that either. Just because I think they are all healthy next week. I think it's going to be, you know, a dip in production. The matchups look good though. Cardinals, Jaguars, Broncos. Then he has the Jets, but then it's Tennessee, Cleveland, Tennessee. So pick him up, wait and see. That is okay, but he's not my priority whatsoever. If Nico Collins can't play in week 11, is Noah Brown someone I could trust? I think so. I think so. If Nico Collins is out or if Robert Woods is out, I think think Noah Brown has become a must start. If those two are active, um, I just talked about this. Um, so you came in at the tail end of it, but if both of those two are active, I think Robert Woods and Noah Brown sort of split snaps for that other role, um, which makes them both inconsistent at best, which I don't really like, but if Nico Collins is out or if Robert Woods is out, if one of those two guys eliminate themselves from the conversation, Noah Brown is proving that he can beat the weaker coverage. He can beat defense uh, and, and, i mean most of all i guess i should say cj stroud in this 
offense as a whole trusts Noah Brown. So, I mean, back-to-back weeks of over 150 yards, maybe the maybe the matchup had a little bit to do with it, but I think you can trust him. I think if that opportunity is still there for him, start him until he proves you wrong, you know? There's very few things that we can count on at this point in the season, it feels like, in fantasy this year. And that's one of the things that keeps proving itself. So I, I would start him. I would start him. 